The F-35 Lightning II was envisioned as the pinnacle of modern aerial warfare, an unmatched symbol of power and sophistication. This fifth-generation fighter, with its blistering supersonic speeds, revolutionary stealth technology, devastating firepower, and cutting-edge avionics, was destined to be the crown jewel of the U.S. military's arsenal. It boasted capabilities that included electronic warfare and even vertical landings, encapsulating everything one could dream of in a warplane. However, the project, which was projected to cost over a trillion dollars, quickly turned into a vexing challenge for the Pentagon. Despite the enormous expense the United States was prepared to bear to secure sky dominance for decades, repeated testing revealed severe flaws. These issues were so critical that they had to be kept secret to prevent America's adversaries from exploiting these vulnerabilities. Since the 1990s, global military superpowers have been in a relentless race to revolutionize combat aviation with new fifth-generation fighters. The U.S. military has mass-produced only two such aircraft, the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. While the F-35 is the latest operational fighter in the U.S. fleets, it is no new endeavor. It is, in fact, over two decades old. The U.S. soared ahead with the F-22 Raptor 25 years ago, cementing its aerial warfare supremacy. The Raptor, deemed so advanced, was forbidden for sale to any foreign entity. However, the Raptor's exorbitant cost and limited versatility led the Pentagon to greenlight another advanced fighter's development. This new fighter would retain groundbreaking stealth technology, avionics, and electronic warfare capabilities, but would be more cost-effective and suitable for export. Thus, the Joint Strike Fighter, JSF, program was born, an ambitious collaboration among the U.S. and its allies, aiming to replace various fighters, strike, and attack warplanes with a new generation of aircraft. In 2000, during the much-anticipated test, Lockheed Martin's X-35 demonstrator dazzled by taking off in under 500 feet, achieving supersonic speeds, and landing vertically on a carrier, while Boeing's X-32 prototype fell short. The X-35 outshone the X-32, and in October 2001, Lockheed Martin was awarded the coveted Joint Strike Fighter contract. The transformation of the X-35 into the first F-35 fighter began with numerous modifications to meet the mission requirements. The journey from X-35 to F-35 was arduous, resulting in three distinct designations. The F-35A for conventional takeoff and landing, the F-35B for short takeoff and vertical landing, and the F-35C for catapult-assisted takeoff from aircraft carriers. However, the added weight to maximize compatibility led to an 18-month delay and an additional cost of over $6 billion. Nevertheless, by February 2006, the first F-35A soared out of Fort Worth, Texas, earning the nickname Lightning the Secu in homage to World War II's P-38 Lightning. Despite being slower and less maneuverable than the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 was designed to be a highly versatile platform, a powerful strike aircraft equipped with the world's most advanced stealth systems and ready for top-tier electronic warfare. Its state-of-the-art sensors and electronic systems provided pilots with unparalleled situational awareness, making it the most intelligent aircraft ever built. The F-35's incredible avionics systems allowed it to process massive amounts of data, presenting it as highly detailed images for the pilot to make the best possible decisions. The F-35's exceptional stealth system, constructed from advanced radar absorbent materials, minimized its radar cross-section, allowing it to elude even the most sophisticated air defense systems. Its unparalleled stealth capabilities surpassed those of the F-22 Raptor, producing a radar signature smaller than a metal golf ball when all systems are engaged. The Lightning II excelled as a versatile weapons platform with two internal weapons bays capable of carrying various warheads, including nuclear payloads, while maintaining its stealth profile. For missions where stealth wasn't a priority, the F-35 could utilize six external weapon stations. Equipped with a 25mm GAU-22A rotary cannon and powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan, the F-35 was a formidable force in combat. However, since 2006, the F-35 faced numerous setbacks, from premature hull cracking and unreliable arrestor hooks to fuel tank vulnerabilities and malfunctioning helmet displays. 
Each issue cast a shadow over the ambitious project, stirring controversy and criticism. Despite these challenges, the dedication to perfecting the F-35 never waned. Every setback was met with resolve, and every flaw addressed with relentless innovation. Software updates were perpetually delayed due to their secretive and highly complex nature. By 2009, the program was 30 months behind schedule, with more delays inevitable. In 2011, the entire program was reassessed, pushing the initial operational capability date to July 2015. Despite manufacturing delays and shortcomings, the commitment to equipping the F-35 with the latest technology remained unwavering. The F-35 Lightning II project has been incredibly expensive and time-consuming. However, it stands as a testament to technological advancement and strategic prowess, providing the U.S. and its allies with fifth-generation fighter capabilities at a lower cost than its predecessor. Despite the journey's challenges, the F-35 embodies the tenacity and commitment to pushing the boundaries of aerial combat. Each setback has been met with resilience, each flaw with innovation, forging an aircraft that, despite its troubled development, remains a beacon of technological mastery and military prowess.